Hi guys, for today's Vlogmas video, I want to take you grocery shopping with me. So I've done this in China several times, but I haven't really done it like full on in the US. It is hard to pull out the camera like in the grocery store when people are just doing their grocery shopping. I'm gonna try to fight those feelings and pull out the camera and take you guys grocery shopping with me. So anytime before I go grocery shopping, I always make a list of what we're going to eat during the week, including my lunches and breakfasts. Eric has lunch at work already provided for him. Typical Silicon Valley startup life, <sighs> so spoiled. So I figure out what he needs, what I need, and then I plan our dinners for us, or like we plan them together, really. And we do mostly produce and meat right now, and like nuts and seeds and fruit. In American stores, like when you shop that way, you tend to be shopping on the outskirts of the store. I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's first, and then probably end up needing to go to Safeway after that, but hopefully we don't. <laughs> so let's go. Before I go in, I gotta organize my tote bags and figure out which ones I need to bring <laughs> guys I always feel so fancy with this bag because I went on a work trip here one time but this is a really fancy resort and so I always feel so bougie using this but this is the best tote bag ever so anyways let's go in first stop Trader Joe's Trader Joe's is killing it with the Christmas stuff right now this stuff is so cute oh my god cute okay so I put my list right here yeah I want these Something I have noticed a lot lately is the number of chestnuts showing up everywhere. Do you guys like chestnuts? I've never really been into them. Gotta get our snacks and yeah. help snacks. My mom taught me this particular method for checking to see if melons are ripe. You can go with this one. Okay, now if you're in China and you've been missing Mexican food, seeing this probably hurts you a little bit because I remember paying like a dollar per lime in China at one point. Okay, so I made acorn squash last week and it was so good. So I'm gonna do it again this week. More snacks. Only that grocery shopper that is not afraid to open up packages and like squeeze all the stuff and make sure it's all good. It's my money, I'm paying for it. Are you guys the same? I like pat everything and touch everything. Guys, I got a question. Why are there always bags next to the bananas? Like they're in their peel. It's not like we're eating the peel. Yes. So this is what we got so far. Now on to the non-produce items. That's how I split up this list. So with the way I'm currently trying to eat, nuts, seeds, and dried fruits are really easy, and I think Trader Joe's does the best job at that stuff. I'm gonna get their dried mango, because they do it with just mango, no added sugar. Yes. Also think they have really good uh, happy eggs. Free range, organic, jumbo. They're a little bit more expensive, but not enough to deter me. Abandoning the cart for a second. I gotta run back and get chia seeds. This is for Eric's coffee. I drink my coffee black. Honestly, the biggest reason I come to Trader Joe's is the coffee. We're gonna be naughty and have carnitas tonight. This stuff is so good. It is not good for you, but it is delicious. I got my mom this for Christmas one year and other stuff too, but this is like a chocolate passport. And all the different chocolates are from Peru, from Ecuador, all those places listed. The last thing I need is some sad cookies. And that's everything, time to check out. Got my bags, headed to Safeway. That was definitely not as busy as normal, and I think it's because it is before noon, which means the church crowd is still at church, and there's a 49ers game on right now. The parking was a lot easier today. It was easier to shop in there. It was easier to film, easier to check out. That was kind of nice. Now I'm gonna head to Safeway. I'm going to a really small Safeway. I'm only getting a few things, but I will show you what I was talking about earlier with like the layout of a grocery store. A lot of people don't know that. They tend to put like the healthier options on the outer edges of the store, and then the um, more packaged and processed stuff in the middle. Oh, I think I have a coupon for freaking avocados in here. Damn it, I left it at home. <laughs> That's so annoying. Personal preference wise, I definitely prefer Trader Joe's, but um, Safeway does a lot of things better. They tend to have better produce. It's not packaged. You can get as much or as little as you want. They have really good in-store soups, which is kind of random. And they have really good fresh salmon. That's why I'm at Safeway. I think we'll just do a, a basket. This stuff, that's our lunch today. Definitely not compliant with my diet, but to be honest, I'm prepping so much food today, I don't wanna make anything for lunch. But yeah, it's not terrible, it's just not quite there. <laughs> so here's one of the outer edges of the store. The bread, the deli over here, and then they've got the meat on the back wall, dairy, produce, um, and it kind of goes in this U shape around the store. And then all in the middle is like alcohol, packaged food, sodas, snacks, that kind of stuff. We're gonna do two of these this week and then we're gonna freeze the other two because it's 50% off, that's crazy. For our tacos tonight. 
This is overpriced, but I need nori. If I go to the Asian market, it's gonna be like 90 cents at the most for this many nori sheets. It's like 10 sheets only. God, that's like 50 cents a sheet. That's so stupid. Anyways, I'm gonna get it because I don't feel like driving to the Asian market. It's gonna be a pain in the butt, so we're just gonna get this. On to the produce. Okie dokie. These also call me gross, but I just throw it in the cart. If I can avoid wasting a bag, I will. They are so expensive now. But so delicious, I can't resist. Okay, we need one for today, so I gotta pick one that's ripe. Okay, that's going pretty good. And then I need one for later this week, so I want it to be kind of harder. That's everything, let's go home and see what we got. So I put away the coffee, and Eric is actually microwaving the soup right now for us for lunch. So those are off the table, but here's the spread. We got lots of produce, lots of meat, lots of veggies. Basically for dinners, we do like easy one pan roasting type stuff. So we'll do like chicken and broccoli, or sandwiches, Salmon and Brussels sprouts, that kind of stuff. And just like a one pan takes 30 minutes type of thing. 400 degrees, y'all. And then we've got fruit that's mostly for like breakfasts and snacks, eggs, I'm gonna be hard boiling a lot. We've got spinach, squash, I'm gonna be roasting some squash today. Lime for our tacos. So there's my haul. Oh, and if you're wondering about the nori and the shiitake mushroom thing, I'm gonna just try seeing what I think of wrapping up some different vegetables in nori. So I'm gonna like cook up the mushrooms and use those as kind of like the meat texture. And then I might put like some cucumber in, probably avocado. We'll see how that turns out, but that's kind of the plan in my head right now. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed following me around the grocery stores. It's definitely uncomfortable for me to pull my camera out in public, especially in the States. It is definitely harder around here than it was in China because I just felt like a lot of people around me in China didn't understand what I was talking about. They were already gonna stare at me anyways. And now in the US, I can blend in or if I pull out my camera, I don't blend in. So it is a little nerve wracking, but I'm kind of getting over that like embarrassment and just being like, whatever, it doesn't matter. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.